we're going to just sort of put the uh, spotlight once again on names like uh, Bata India and Indian Hotels. Mangalam is uh, back with us with exactly that. Mangalam, hi, morning. Morning. So one is a Tata company, the other is a Bata company. The Tata company, Indian Hotels, has uh, reported its best ever quarter, highest ever revenue, EBITDA margins, as well as net profit. Uh, premium, uh, you know, premiumization, premium travel, premium experience is doing well. And in a seasonally strong quarter, the company has just gone ahead and shown its metal. Occupancies have increased, average room rates have improved, and the cash on their books is also 1,800-odd crores. For Bata, there is a struggle for sales growth. In fact, the growth is just about 0.4%, and that's weighed down on their margins, and that's weighed down on the net profit as well, which is down about 30 odd percent. The company has had to activate demand by spending more on advertisements. So they've spent higher on other expenses by about 20 percent and that's increased as a proportion of sales. They have faced persistent market headwinds accentuated in discretionary spending. For them as well, premiumization is doing well. So for Bata, we can say it's a shoe bite. For Tata or Indian hotels, Vataj. Okay, well, uh, that was a mouthful. Thanks a lot, Mangalam, for that. Well